away the traps, take the water samples, come back in, help identify spat. Collect the traps, deploy the nets, come back in, and I push them real hard to keep working on these tiles until you know right around dinner time and then we call it a day because we're gonna have to get up early the next morning to go collect the fish that are in the nets. And the reason why we're pushing and pushing and pushing uh, is because we need to get all this done in two days because we then need to in order to stay on schedule with the tides we needed to move on to our next site. The spat experiment. We really wanted to do this the easy way, and that is to put out these tiles at all our reefs back in August and get natural spat settlement on these tiles. But it turns out only a few of our sites were getting recruitment onto tiles. And for the experiment to work, we needed to start out with equal numbers of oyster spat on all our tiles. So we quickly had to come up with a plan B. And so I, in talking with the other leaders of the project decided that we need to go out and harvest uh, sections of the oyster reef from each site and extract the, the oyster spat that had settled on the adults there and glue those onto our tiles. It was going to be a heck of a lot more of a workload. What I had estimated to take each team about five hours to do at each site actually turned out to be about a 15 hour job. Um, and so that's why I had to quickly pull myself off of helping with all the the sampling of the predators and the sediment samples and the water samples to purely deal with setting up this tile experiment. So we really threw a lot of work into one trip and it was a lot of fun, uh, you know, exhausting, but um, once we got it all done, um, you know, I was really happy with, with how things turned out.